right. Shout out one. First and foremost, I want to give you praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shout out one to the hopeful elect pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as an intransit edition video. Lord willing, it be um, edifying unto you brothers out there and a few sisters listening and learning. And um, inspiration for this video is drawn from, you know, the flurry of events that you currently have playing out upon the face of the earth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because, you know, he is in control of all things, you know, our heavenly powers. And, um, you know, as the scriptures say, shall there be evil in the sea and the Lord have not done it. All right, everything that happens on earth is um, green lighted or rather sanctioned by the power of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. And currently, you have this um, situation out here in the UK and uh, various parts of Europe where you're having, you know these um, fires devouring and um, causing chaos and havoc, all right? And they're blaming it on a global warming, all right? They're blaming these events, you know, these mysterious fires, you know, these mysterious outbursts of fires, devouring fires, they're blaming it on a global warming, all right? And we know, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that this is part of the new world order system being rolled in all right and um it's evident to see that the elites are weaponizing everything against you all right they're weaponizing the food all right they're now saying that due to global warming in the uk they have now said that um there's been a majority a vast majority of crops that have been damaged due to the overheating all right, I saw the article yesterday. And um, they're also weaponizing the water, all right? They're saying that, you know, people need to limit, you know, the amount of water that, you know, you're using in order to preserve water because of this extreme heat that's currently um, devouring, you know, the UK, all right? And that's the scene, that's the picture that they're painting is that, you know, this, this heat, you know, it's so extreme that drastic and soon to be draconian measures are gonna have to be uh, put in place in order to um, save, <laughs> so-called save humanity, all right? And this is how Esau gets down, all right? This is how Esau gets down, man, because the scriptures tell you he's a liar, you know, from the beginning, all right? And a bold not in the truth, all right? Roughly paraphrasing, you know? As soon as they be born, you know, they go forth from the, the womb speaking lies. You know, also roughly paraphrasing. So you can't believe anything that this devil, you know, has to say. Especially when it comes to things concerning, you know, your own, you know, health and well-being. All right? Because there's always a, an ulterior motive, a hidden intent that Esau is trying to um, pl play out and fulfill concerning, you know, his own New World Order agenda, man. All right? And, uh, you know, it's evident that, you know, this whole global warming and, um, you know, these um, spontaneous fires, you know, is another sign, you know, of, of, of Esau pushing his agenda. All right? And, um... So I said, um, you know, they're weaponizing, you know, the food, all right, with the shortages. 
and you know blaming it you know on the um on the war you know that's currently playing out between you know russia and the ukraine they're weaponizing the water all right soon to be you know on a greater scale all right and i actually received a text today you know from my actual water company you know telling me you know to use my water sparingly you know due to what's happening in the uk so you know this is all fear mongering all right it's all fear mongering and you know they're putting the spirit of fear upon the people and again they're, they're going to use you know your bare necessities and weaponize them you know against you to gain more power to gain more control all right so they're weaponizing the food they're weaponizing the water all right and um they are also weaponizing the energy all right your gas and your electric that's also being weaponized against you all right with the soaring prices all right now to now to um to um you know heat your home or use the hot water it pretty much cost you double than it did before you know double than it did before a year ago all right or six months ago whatever the case is okay so this is devouring you know people's wages all right and now they've called it you know the cost of living crisis and now they're giving people payments over here in the UK, you know, similar to what they've done over there in the States with that, um, I forgot, you know, the actual name of the payment that they were given. I believe it was under the Biden administration and they were given, you know, the, the payments of, um, you know, a few thousand dollars, all right? And they're doing the same over here in the UK. I believe it totals to about um, six, seven hundred pounds, you know, that you get in two payments, you know, to aid in the cost of living crisis, all right, which is going to cause more inflation all right so everything they're doing is well calculated and that's why it says in in the book of psalm 64 you know concerning these edomites concerning the wicked left-hand elite you know it says that their mind is deep all right because every move they make all right is well calculated and is going to end up um affecting you in a negative way and at the same time, bringing in, you know, their new world order system. And this is what Esau Edom is all about, all right? Bringing in his system, bringing in that MOTB. And all of this disaster and chaos that you're seeing play out on the earth is a way of Esau bringing into fruition, you know, his, his wildest dreams, so to speak, all right? So like I've said, they're weaponizing the food, they're weaponizing the water, all right? They're weaponizing your basic necessities, all right, that the people are gonna need. And by doing so, a lot of people are gonna actually cave in and compromise themselves in order to have, you know, that normality, all right? In order to have, you know, that peace of mind that, you know, they're gonna have food to eat and they're gonna have a place to lie their head, all right? Because Esau knows, you know, where to attack the people, all right? Because people don't wanna be homeless, all right? People don't wanna have you know, to um, go for days without eating, all right? People don't don't wanna, you know, experience any hardship, all right? So in the threat of that, all right, what they're gonna do is they're gonna cave in and they're gonna compromise themselves, all right? And they're gonna cast their integrity away and they're gonna get MOTB'd, all right? They're gonna get it, all right? And that's, what, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Those that are not strong, all right, are going to cave in to this beast system. And many of you Israelites out there are going to cave in to this beast system. And many of you Israelites that know that you, you're Israelites, but are not teaching that the MOTB, all right, is the, you know, Revelations 13 and 16, you're also going to cave in and, um, you know, take that CHIP. And the reason you're going to do it is because you haven't been spiritually and mentally preparing yourself, all right, for these days to come, all right? If you've been denying that the MOTB is the CHIP all of this time, then when it finally emerges, all right, you're going to succumb to it, all right? Because you don't think it's a threat, but it clearly tells you in the 14th chapter of Revelations that anyone who takes this M-A-R-K, all right, is really going to burn, all right? You're going to be destroyed in the presence of your Yahweh Shem Shai, man. And that's a terrible way to go, all right? That is a hell of a terrible way to go, but many people are gonna suffer that fate, 
all right? Because you congregations out there, you false prophets, haven't been warning your congregation, haven't been warning the people about this very, very important prophecy that's about to come to pass on earth, all right? You haven't been warning the people. And as a result of not warning the people, all right, their blood is now on your hands, all right? As it tells you in um, Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17 on down all right well really throughout you know the beginning to up until verse 17 you know it tells you about warning you know the nation of israel man all right and if you don't warn the nation of israel all right then you know their blood is going to be on your hands but if you warn them you know according to the pure doctrine of your bar shim shai then what's going to happen is you know their blood is going to be off of your hands all right, and you're going to be favored in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, because you are a good servant and you've done what you were told to do, all right, because it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, whether the people hear or forhear, all right, forbear, okay, what matters is that you gave the message, all right, it's up to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to seal who he's going to seal, okay, we're just the messengers, man, all right, we are just the messengers, so that is our job. You know, to be watchmen unto the house of Israel through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Now, another thing that's currently going on, you're having uproars of the people. Second Exodus 9 from the top on down. All right? You're having uproars of the people happening. You're having uproars in Cuba right now. Okay? You're having uproars in Cuba. You're having uproars in, in, uh, in France. You're having uproars in Germany and many other places throughout the four corners of the globe. Okay, and these uproars are happening mainly because of the straits and the hardship that people are experiencing, man. Okay? So it's not going to stop, all right? Like we said in the beginning of this whole pandemic, this ain't going to stop. Normality is never going to come back, all right? Things are going to keep getting harder. Things are going to keep, you know, um, getting more draconian, all right? L more, more laws of oppression are going to keep coming in. You know, the scriptures speak about unrighteous decrees in the book of Isaiah 10 from the top on down. All right. So these things are going to keep getting worse. All right. Until people completely lose it. And it's going to be anarchy, man. All right. And that's exactly what we're witnessing right now in these last days on earth, man. All right. Complete, you know, loss of control. All right. And complete chaos that many, many, many of the chaos is being engineered, but a lot of the chaos is also happening, you know, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, like I quoted in the beginning, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. So this really all goes back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and that's being in the end days, man. That's why these things are happening. So yeah, some things are, um, are being engineered by Esau, but you also have to understand that a lot of things that are happening are happening because we're in the midst of the end of the world and prophecy must be fulfilled okay and even the stuff you know that esau is engineering all right that stuff still goes back to how about shimmy al-shai because he controls the hearts of kings all right so we're in a win-win situation man all right and that's why it's so important you know to hold high in value you know this wisdom knowledge and understanding all right which is more, worth more than silver and gold. All right, Isaiah 33 and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and strength of salvation. So that's the strength of our salvation is having this truth. All right, having this wisdom, knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, that's gonna be the strength of our salvation in these last days, man. All right, because there's a lot going on right now. All right, there's a hell of a lot going on right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai, and these things must be spoken upon, man. All right, like I said, you got upwards of the people. All right, you've got you've got you know the the elites on the left hand side weaponizing everything around you. All right, weaponizing your food, you know your water. Okay, um, you know various other things. All right, pushing the people further and further with their backs towards the wall, all right? And this is a beautiful time to be alive right now, man. This is a real beautiful time to be alive, man, because that MOTB is coming. You can see it, all right? They're promoting that every single day. Yeah, there's a new article regarding the MOTB. Every single day, all right, there's a new piece being released regarding the MOTB and the cashless society, okay? This is of no coincidence. We're in that time, 
All right, so this is a time, you know, to pray unto Yahweh Barashim Yahushai to keep you in this truth, to keep you in the spirit of Yahweh Barashim Yahushai, Barashim Akar Kodash, and cast away not your Holy Spirit, man. All right, Psalms uh, 51, all right, the prayer of King David, all right, which is very important. All right, pray unto Yahweh Barashim Yahushai not to cast away, you know, your spirit, man. All right. And with that, you know, Lord willing, this uh, brief lesson was edifying. And until the next one, I'll say Shalom.